toxic masculinity is a term that was invented by women nobody wants to fuck <laughs> to describe the men that the women do want to fuck. It's Damn, jealousy, son, that, where'd you find that's this? That's all it is. That's all it is. No, but on, on a real level, right, this whole idea of being toxically masculine is complete garbage. And the reason it's garbage is because it's a first world problem first. Mm -hmm. Because when you put males and females in survival situations, or the closer they are. What's going on, YouTube, social media world? It's your boy, Anonymous, based in on Biggity Biggity Bat, Biggity Biggity Bat, Biggity 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 Bat with a new reaction video. This time I'm here with something brand new from It's Complicated. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and give this video a like. Share with a couple of your friends. Make sure you follow me on all my social media sites. And if you got something specific, go ahead and drop it in that comment section. So we are here with something new from It's Complicated. And this is a topic that I love talking about. It's called toxic masculinity. Shout out to you, man. Down the Marco. Marco. Rules of modern dating and understanding women. All right, let's go ahead and get into this, man. This, this is this right on my alley right here. All right, we're going to see how much ridiculousness takes place in this video. I'm ready for this. What is the difference between masculine and feminine energy? Uh-oh. Um, I feel like feminine energy is like just, you know, it relates back to like, I feel like old times, like you can't even describe what it is, and like the feminine energy that go along with that. Like men should, in my opinion, men should open the door, and just like feminine energy and masculine energy is more of like the not in control, but just like the leader of the relationship, in my opinion. So <laughs> I would say bravado. It's like taking leadership in a role okay being in charge of situations all right and then feminine energy i would say it's more like not entirely but being more sub uh, submissive being led not quite aggressive but more like go gittery whereas go feminine gittery? energy tends to always be seen as a more caretakery i don't know i feel like super safe and a little bit more like yeah, i feel confident. safer around masculinity masculine and the fact that he asked them what's the difference and they're having trouble explaining the difference between the two this just proves to me that the woke ideology that's being pushed onto the society it's working bro they can't even describe the difference between masculine energy and feminine energy we're, we're doomed send the asteroid bro send, send, send the asteroid man like happy we're happier does a man have to be masculine in order to attract a woman uh for me yes i was gonna say don't count <laughs> does a woman need to be feminine in order to attract a man yes That's for not, me no <laughs> do you think Stop women are more cow. attracted to masculine or feminine men uh i don't don't count I believe more masculine all right you feel safe i feel like safe. honestly and it's just hot it's hot Definitely more attracted to masculine. All right. What do you think women find attractive about a man in touch with his masculinity? How confident he can be, how he can, sh how sure he is of himself. He can lead her. Go back to being what I said, leading her in a certain direction, leading her, uh, leading, taking charge of certain situations, being protective. You know, it's that whole protect, provide mm -hmm. nature. Um, that he's able to like care for me and like protect me when we're out in public. Um, he's a provider. He can take care of me. Um, also, put in that assertiveness. That See, you know how you notice how whenever the question gets brought up about the traits of masculinity, the women are able to just name off a, a laundry list of things, right? They got that part memorized to the T. But I guarantee you, if he flips it around, it says, okay, so what are some feminine what are some feminine characteristics that men find attractive? They're not gonna be able to say it. They're gonna start describing masculine stuff. I've seen it and heard it a million times. So we're gonna see if it ends up playing out like that. But I'm telling you, this is what they do. They have a laundry list and recital for what a man is, but when when it comes on when it comes to describe the female qualities, they're gonna start describing man stuff. That's what I like about the masculine energy. And what, what's attractive about a man in touch with his femininity? I feel like they're less likely to see things like 
um, me being a breadwinner more as a threat and they're more likely to see it as like a positive thing and celebrate my success. I think since it's like so looked Stop down upon, it's like cool to see guys who are in touch with such- Oh! Oh! Here we go! Septum piercings have returned! We got this pirate over here with this septum piercing, man. What do I always tell y'all about the septum piercings? Red flag. Something wrong with him. I don't know. She seems like she might have a, 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 a an ounce of logic, but- I don't know, man. She might come through with some non-smith sense, but we gonna see. It's like feminine parts about themselves. Why is that? Um, I don't know, because you just don't see it as an everyday thing. So once you see it, it's just like, okay, you know, he's not, he's not scared to go out of the, his comfort zone for something that's not normalized in this social society. I would rather my man be a little bit more feminine or sensitive. Than oh, look, look, see? Here we go with the, the, another septum piercing, and before I can pause it and acknowledge it, red flag, she already said some nonsense, bro. Oh, man. In that, in that tone, you know what I'm saying? I really don't like to you. Hello? Already coming through with the nonsense, bro. I can't see Could you video call me and guide me somewhere safe? Let's go. Where is his car? Keep walking. Tell me the way. Squarespace is a website that makes websites. Oh, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back a little bit. I don't know, because you just don't see it as an everyday thing. So once you see it, it's just like, okay, you know, he's not, he's not scared to go out of the, his comfort zone for something that's not normalized in this social society. I would rather my man be a little bit more feminine or sensitive in that, in that tone. You know what I'm saying? Stop the I really don't like to use feminine and masculine because I just feel like people should just be who they are. You know what I'm saying? If you're soft, if you're gentle, if cap. you're loving, then it is what it is. And if you go by rough love or tough love or anything, I mean, I'm pretty sure somebody's out there with tough skin for you. At what point does masculinity become toxic masculinity? <sighs> If they're too demanding, Arrogant. overwhelming, yeah. egotistical. See, here we go. Here we go. Everything that they just said, they are aroused by that, bro. Like I always say, man, don't listen to what these women say. Look at what they do. Because the guys that aren't those qualities that they describe are the ones that are simping, paying for their OnlyFans, cash apping on five hundred dollars for dates and all this craziness, and they are in the friend zone. Pay attention, guys. I feel like when they're taking over the relationship and it's like unbalanced energy. That, that's what it is. For yeah, me. for sure. When it becomes unbalanced and they use that masculine energy as power mm -hmm. over you, and they become controlling. Here we go. I feel like it's when they let that masculinity become their only personality trait and they almost feel disgusted with doing anything that may be considered more feminine. If men had the space to really be themselves and not be pressured into thinking that they're gay or soft or, you know, whatever it may be, you know, I feel like if we didn't have that type of like thought about men being like, <sighs> gay or anything, then men would be more softer, they would be more in tune with their feelings, and they would be just, I don't know, just better people. It's funny how she says that, but then realistically speaking, anytime a man opens up or shows any sort of vulnerability, either the women make fun of him or they use it against him and throw it in his face later. So as much as they like to sit here and say that, the response to it is completely different. Again, don't listen to what they say. Look at what they do. Stop the cap. Do you think toxic masculinity is more likely to come from an alpha or beta male? Mm. Alpha. I think it can come from both, honestly. Maybe probably a beta. There we go. Maybe an alpha. I don't know exactly. I don't know. What is the difference between alpha and beta males? I think alpha is someone who would 
kind of be considered a leader. Okay. Uh, and I think a lot of the time that carries like a bad rep. That's what y'all like, I though. I personally think that it is, so. That's what y'all <laughs> like, toxic though. Toxic masculinity exists without toxic femininity. No, they go hand in hand. So then why don't we just call it toxic behavior? Ooh, that's a good one. It's definitely it's just toxic behavior on both halves. What does toxic femininity look like? Um. Here we go. You girls know. You know what you do. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, call it out. No, there's like, girls know what they're doing. Like, if you ever think that a call girl it said it, you're probably wrong. Like, she knows what she's doing. Bitchiness, for yeah, sure. For sure. Um, so then, why are there some women who are proud of being bitches? I would say I, have no idea. I, would say I kind of Marco. am one of those girls. Um, so say, you're toxically feminine. <laughs> yeah, we're toxic. I'd say it's definitely gotcha, helped bitch. me in the world. I'd say I used to let men walk all over me, and now being a bitch to men has definitely helped me like put them in their place and be able to show them that like I am an equal partner. You know? No. Nope. Why would you have to be a bitch in order to show men that you're an equal partner? Like. I guess it's the type of men that I go for. Well, I'm saying, isn't there a difference between, like, having healthy boundaries and just having a bad attitude? Yes, there's definitely a difference, for sure. For, for sure. me, bitchiness is more about being assertive. Yeah. So, so you're masculine. So you're, bro, you're masculine. That's, and, I, and I can guarantee you, when you act like that in a relationship, the dude don't like it and they leave you, man. Gotcha, bitch. Why is there so much media attention exposing the flawed nature and behavior of men, but not also the flawed nature and behavior of women? Because in this day of age, women like to be victims. I go. am a strong believer in that, and I feel bad for a lot of guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's all about um, like how you talk to any girl, and she'll say her ex is a narcissist. Like, yep, they not sure every will. Guy walking this earth is a narcissist. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just don't believe in that. I would say maybe that has to do with the algorithm in your phone or what you're searching up or what they promote to you. Like, when I go on my YouTube, I see a lot of that. A lot of downplaying men, a lot of downplaying what we do or what we provide, a lot of up trying to uplift women. Not to say that they shouldn't be uplifted, but it's kind of, it's a, to me it's a matter of why are we bringing men down and not uplifting men just like we're uplifting women. Are women more attracted to nice guys or bad boys? Bad boys. There you bad go. Boys, bad boys. Bad boys. So Down then why the should men go, care about what women go. want? They shouldn't, but it's just like like women care about what men want. Like we do. No one should Duck care about what men Tell a friend, nature. bitch. Men need women, women need men. If men and women need each other, why do gay people exist? Okay, aside from okay, gotcha, bitch. Yeah, apart from that. Man. Why do women complain about toxic masculinity when women enable that behavior by Man, my dude is on a roll, the bro. Fastest growing mobile provider in the nation. And now is the time to switch. Get Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for $29.99 for your first line and every line. Yeah, I don't care. By choosing to date bad boys. Oh. Gotcha, bitch. Again, victimizing themselves. You guys just love being the victim. There you go. There you go. I couldn't even say, Yo. man. Like, you guys are perpetuating that stuff, you know? Like, you choose to be with this guy that's going to fuck on uh, other females excuse my leg or do go do some other stuff behind your backs be cheating on you and stuff then you got the nice guy over here and you don't give him no opportunity and then what did i say earlier now he's looking at it like, right, to the end tell a friend i bitch. treat you like that oh Women man god damn are really really insecure like we like to project our insecurity so a lot of the time mm. the loudest and proudest girl out there is definitely the one that has uh you know, some mental issues mm. and insecurities, that's what I'd say. Don't Why is it when a woman doesn't have a man, she often has to take on a masculine role, but when a man doesn't have a woman, he doesn't necessarily have to take on a feminine role? Ooh. Ooh. Um. You can't answer that that's one. That's too good a question can't for me, answer that one. personally. Can't answer that I one. <laughs> women, like... Like are more like apt to be more manly than and independent. Like it's okay for a woman to be more like manly than it is for a man to be like feminine. There I you think. go. I just feel like people think that, That's even though it shouldn't be true. 
that's a normal thing for us is to go through hardships to earn your scars and to earn your pain there you go. and then from that you become the man that you are and then with women it's not necessarily the same thing damn you son can be where'd you find this work on yourself and stuff but you usually develop again those same scars and then that puts a coating on you and then that makes it more difficult when you try and get into a relationship because now you feel like you have to do this thing for yourself you. thank instead you instead of being able to let the person you'll be with do it for you thank you when a woman doesn't have a like man to take care of her and provide for her she has to do it for herself and that's considered being more masculine well wouldn't that prove that masculinity is more essential for survival than femininity Ooh, uh oh fuck. fuck nigga to the end tell a friend bitch i had never thought about that so it's all right <laughs> and if that's true why is masculinity seen as toxic and y'all try to do it too. Y'all act like that too. It's vital for society to gotcha, be existing. <laughs> Wouldn't that mean that the man couldn't survive without the woman though? It's so funny how these women will sit here and say that masculinity is toxic, but it's okay for them to be masculine themselves, bro. Gotcha, bitch. Because like we could do the man and woman part, but a man could only do the man part. Well, right, but I'm just saying the man doesn't necessarily have to take on a more feminine role because he can survive doing the man part. And just stay that way. They could survive, but they're not doing too well. <laughs> they're not doing too hot. Have you seen a single Stop man's the apartment? Yeah. I have many times. Men are, well, it's a fact, it's a known fact. Men are physically more capable than women. They are stronger. So I think some of the roles that come, not only in dating, but also marriage, like things that happen around the house, you know, the toilet breaks, I'm not fixing it. Like, I, I hope a man does. No offense. There you go. <laughs> I will definitely do the cleaning because that's just... I don't know. I don't know. You're probably asking the wrong person about this. <laughs> Why do women often attack a man's masculinity when they don't get what they want? Uh-oh. I think that's an insecurity thing. Uh-oh. All right, you're not going to bend to my will. I'm going to attack this about you. But I feel like both genders do that, so. Isn't that hitting below the belt? Yes. A lot of the time when we think about men who are masculine, it's just them being... Uh, it's like them knowing who they are and I feel like if you're insecure and you're around even in friendships like if you're around someone who's so strong and who they are like you're definitely gonna be threatened by that and so that's probably why a lot of fe like females like attack men for that <laughs> I'd say oh man god who damn. cares more about masculinity men or women um I definitely think it's men 100% I do feel like women uh, there are a lot of women that help them but I do feel like men, you know, like I said, you know, about social construct and everything. I feel like society is more harder on men. And so that makes them want to be more masculine or prove to themselves to other men that they're more manly. You know what I'm it's saying? It's supposed to be like I that. I honestly think women. I think women are always targeting men, whether it's in a bad way or a good way. Um, we're always like attacking them for anything they do. I feel like in this generation, there's no winning. So would you say that men are conditioned by other men to act a certain way? I feel like men are conditioned by society, men and women to act that way. I think that goes along with any anybody. I think that can be a women thing too, but I think uh, a lot of the time women are expected to be super independent. Uh, women are pushed to go to college and be super like, not that it's wrong. I think that if you want to do that, go ahead. But there's nothing wrong with wanting to raise a family and stay home. And same thing with the guy. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be the breadwinner of the family. So so how do you think we can fix that? Well, we need to have more conversations. We, that's one thing. Um, it needs to be more topics like this. We need to be able to, like, I want to say mind your own damn business. You know what I'm saying? Why is our society constantly inflating women's How is it that in the same sentence you say we need to open up and have more conversations and then you end the sentence by saying everybody needs to mind their business? How you go out of the conversation if everybody's minding their business, bro? Cut that out, you little bastards. Egos to the point of delusional while simultaneously deflating and demoralizing men's egos to the point of suicidal. Oh man, I don't, I'm not, I really couldn't, I guess they're just, they want women nowadays to be so much more, I, like, I say masculine, like, you know, that whole independent woman thing. I get it, you know, 
men of the past weren't perfect, but neither were women of the past. So what it goes up into is that you have these women that are older now and they want to start families or they want to do other things. And you have this bravado about you and it's not attractive to a real alpha male or to a real omega male or it's just not seen as attractive. And then what happens with men that are not in that situation, that are not as pronounced, they end up being suicidal because they can't find a decent woman to fit into what they're looking for, their standards or their qualifications at that. So it's like, all right, none of these women want to want to rock with me how I need you to rock. Now what am I supposed to do? Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Okay, okay, man. Shout out to It's Complicated for coming through with the amazing fire video called Toxic Masculinity. <laughs> All right, so first impressions of me watching this one, this one was definitely good. This one definitely had 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 these people stumped as far as the line of questioning, but there was a lot of capping going on, a lot of capping, quite a bit of nonsense. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this is right up my alley. So my alley, this was right up my alley. So I was able to pick apart some of these arguments and uh, pinpoint the nonsense and call out the cap, man. Stop the cap. I was able to call out the cap throughout the video. But overall, it was a great video. And uh, it ain't gonna be long before I reach out to you and link up with you and try to come out to Las Vegas and be in one of your videos, man. Cause I really want to grill some of these people. Cause in, in some instances, I think these people don't get challenged enough on their perspective and their, uh, their belief systems. That, that's just my personal take on it. I don't think they get, get grilled enough. I don't think they get hit hard enough with the logic. So like I said, it won't be long before I come out to Las Vegas. I got to link up with you. I got to be featured in some of the content, man, because like I said in the last video, you're out here doing, doing the Lord's work, having these conversations to get people to think and view things from each other's perspective. That way, overall, we can come together and create a better society for not just men, but for women as well. So overall, I think it was a great video. Love your content, man. As long as you keep making content, I have something to give my perspective to. So one more shout out to you, Mr. It's Complicated. And with that being said, that's pretty much my reaction, man. So if you like the video, go ahead and give this video a like. Share with a couple of your friends. Make sure you follow me on all my social media sites. And if you got something specific, go ahead and drop it in that comment section, man. It's your boy, Anonymous Base. Peace. Are to a survival situation, the quicker they're going to revert to their gender roles. If you put a whole bunch of men and a whole bunch of women, you strand them on a desert island, the men would start having to build things and fight off the animals, and the women would start farming and whatever the women would do, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah? So when, 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 when shit hits the fan... Everyone, everyone reverts to their natural gender roles. Mm -hmm. So if you live in a country like Romania or Russia or a country that's poor, the closer it is to survival, the lower the economic prosperity of the country, the closer people are to their natural gender roles. So Very Russian true. men are masculine, Russian females are feminine. Mm -hmm. But in America, it's the richest country in the world. It's a first world problem. All the women get to be stupid and the men get to be pussies because it's just a first world problem. This whole idea of being toxically masculine is absolutely garbage. Nobody's toxically, listen, you're not going to call me toxically masculine if someone breaks in the house and I start spraying. No one's going to start calling me toxically masculine. No, there was no one called toxically masculine when they were fucking staying on the Titanic to die, right? The whole thing is garbage, and it's just by women who are bitter and jealous trying to insult and demonize men for being natural to their instincts.